Let's bring you up to speed on the new details. Fox 5 has learned the GBI has located what the Troop County Sheriff's Office said was a decent number of bones from Kyle Klinkscale's car. But they suspect that many more washed away in the 45 years his 1974 Pinto lay in the bottom of this Alabama creek. We've also learned they recovered a partial skull. Those bones will be sent to the GBI crime lab to determine if they are the remains of Kyle Klinkscale's and possibly find out how he died. Former Troop County DA Pete Scandalakis was among the legion of law enforcement and prosecutors who worked the case. He says a Christian burial was the last hope John and Louise Klinkscales had for their son. Both have passed away now. Answers are also what they and everyone have always wanted. Scandalakis is hopeful. You know, I am confident that the remains that are in that vehicle uh, will be those of Kyle Klinkscale. So, you know, I'm glad that we got some closure to the case. I asked Gandalakis about this man, Jimmy Earl Jones, the only person ever convicted in the case. Jones was convicted of giving false statements to investigators in 2008 and sentenced to nine years in prison. And although Jones claimed a man named Ray Hyde murdered Kyle, the changing stories he told about that night frustrated the investigation for years and branded Jones an unreliable witness. What happened to Kyle Klinkscales? Scandalakis agrees with the sheriff. All theories are back on the table. If this was an accident and Mr. Klinkscales just drove off the road and that car has been covered up for 45 years plus, um, I just don't know. There's so many things that uh, this, this discovery answers. There's so many things that uh, are unanswered. I'm Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.